Yeah. Well, we've got those computer problems ironed out, so let's get right to it show you what we're dealing with. This is what I tried to show you earlier. We've got a winter storm watch in the four corners from Cortez to Durango. That be uh, begins or actually the Monday and then heading in through Wednesday where we could see anywhere from 48 inches of snow. And of course, we'll see some of those snow showers down into the western mountains of New Mexico, but already starting to see the beginnings of this storm as it works its way towards New Mexico and we get ready for next week. 39 degrees currently at the sun the winds are light around five miles per hour. Already chilly to the north. We've got teens in Durango back towards Alamosa. Some 30s and 40s down towards the south. 20s and 30s across the Rio Grande Valley. It's been more or less all about the filtered sunshine today with these high clouds moving on in. More or less will be the same for tomorrow. Although we'll probably see a little bit more sunshine. We will have those clouds to deal with. So ridge of high pressure still hanging on for us. It's going to keep the grip, at least the mild grip on the area. So temperatures won't be affected a whole lot. So tomorrow we're all about filtered sunshine and then heading into Monday we'll be dealing with the beginnings of that storm system and initially it's going to be the four corners that will be hit and we'll also shave a few degrees off those afternoon temperatures. So let's give you the rundown on what these storms are going to do beginning with the one Monday as this ridge breaks on down over the next couple of days we'll start to see things cloud up a little bit a little bit more action in the rain and snow realm. Again that begins Monday into Tuesday with this four, first little low that swings on in. That's also going to cool temperatures down a bit. And then as we head into Wednesday, another low swings on in with the cold front. The temperatures will drop a little bit more. We'll see the snow lines drop. And then the core of the storm, the core of this upper level low, will swing through the southwest Friday into Saturday, which could bring in some significant snows across most of New Mexico and be much cooler across the state as well. So very active week in store for us next week. But tomorrow looking absolutely fabulous. Highs in the 30s and 40s for us here in the Four Corners. And here you go. We're going to be dealing with some snow showers as early as Monday for the Four Corners, and that will continue through next week. Temperatures also sliding off from the 40s down into the 30s. For the southwest, overnight lows tonight, 30s and 20s. Highs tomorrow in the 50s and 60s. We'll even see perhaps a few 70s back off towards the southeast. Uh, we'll see filtered sunshine for the most part, though. It should be fairly nice for us. Here's the seven-day forecast for you. Roswell, which does include quiet weather for tomorrow, even a little bit, tad bit warmer, milder for Monday, and then we'll see a few spot showers moving on in towards the middle of next week with temperatures falling off a bit. For the northeast, overnight lows tonight, teens, 20s, highs tomorrow in the 50s to near 60 degrees with plenty of sunshine in the northern mountains. More or less the same deal. It'll be a little bit chilly, but notice no numbers below zero tonight. Uh, Alamo so you'll actually see five degrees tonight. High somewhere in the 40s and 50s across the board. Santa Fe, there's your seven-day forecast. Does include quiet weather, but then we get interesting Monday night into Tuesday. Continue with that snow threat through the end of the week as temperatures also drop off for us as well. And in the East Mountains, overnight lows tonight will be in the 20s. High somewhere in the 50s. Uh, to near, we may see a few 60s a little bit further south from here. But the metro area, more or less going to see plenty of sunshine. Highs in the upper 50s around Berlin. And here is your seven-day forecast for Albuquerque, which does include a good chance for some showers, especially heading into the middle of the week and the end of next week with temperatures dropping in the 40s. Okay, thank you, Travis. Yeah.